Now, I'm going to be tying this fly here. This is an ant, a foam ant uh, pattern. Uh, there's many patterns like this. This is this basically the style is, I mean, everybody's done these flies. I'm not, it's not my fly. Uh, it's the way I tie it, it's about as much as, as mine. Um, it represents a sort of black ant that we get in the summer months. And there's millions of them, and they do get blown on. But all around the world, there's ants, all sizes, quite a few different colours as well. So you can tie it in the same style, and it'll, it'll work for you. Now I'm using uh, a size 12. It's basically uh, a full mill hook. It's, it's the all-rounder. Uh, it's, it's a medium wire hook. You can use whatever you want, and if you want to bar debarb the hook, it's very simple just to squeeze it in the vise. And if you want to fish barbless, so I'll do that for you, just to show you. So we tighten up. And these are for me, so I know I fish barbless all the time. So, thread I'm going to be using, this is a uni thread, AO, in black. So we start at the eye of the hook, we just work our way down, all the way down. Controlling the turns using the waist piece, so just keep the waist piece tight, and this will control turns of thread. Then we can remove that. Now you can see I've slightly come round the bend. Now I've got the black foam. This is 2mm thick close cell foam. I've cut it 4mm wide to suit the size of the fly. So what I'm going to do is tear a bit and if you tear a piece off the end it, you'll see that it's, like it's slightly tapered. So that makes it easier to tie in. So we catch this in and then tie it down. Bringing this foam so I can actually get it. Now I'm going to tidy this up with some glister, so glister or a, a black light bright or something like that, or even just use the thread if you want. But this helps tidy up that and it gives it a wee bit of grip as well. So, what we do then is tie this on, or dub it on, sorry, slide it up, and then form our underbody of the, the glister. Just going to be tad more. So what a nice reasonable shape. It helps to shape the, the back of the body. And this material actually floats quite well. If you obviously use a floating on it. So we bring we bring over our, our foam. Tie it down. Three or four turns just to see the shape. Now the, obviously the body of the ant is much bigger than the thorax, so trim this away. So it's one third of the way up at least anyway. And then just tidy this up. Just use the thread as the the body or the material. You don't need any dubbing. You want to keep the shape. You get the shape of the ant. There we are. I'm just going to trim away some of the cluster. Now for the wing, I've got two white hackles. These are from a just a basic Indian neck. White. You can use grey, use black, you can use whatever you like. Now what I'm doing here is I've got two the same length. I'm taking them off. Just checking the points. I'm really nice. The one that's what I'm looking for. The length is just to the back of the hook. Now I'm lay I'm laying one on top of the other, but I'll make a wee space here. So I'm laying one on top of the other. I'm going to tie onto some of the fibres as well. I'm not going to tie straight onto the stem because it help, gives it more grip and uh, it doesn't pull out or break off if you do that. Not the same anyway. So we come over with two or three turns, just making sure it's going to sit. We want these wings to sit up. Just checking the length, just slightly a wee bit shorter than that, that's fine, that's fine enough. Make sure they're tied in. You find that the ant wing sits up quite well like this. They're not the best flyers in the world but the, the wings are well pronounced. So we go back to the foam, so the same piece of foam. This time I'm going to stretch it again. Let me stretch so we get that taper. Stretch and break it, sorry. 
So we come in, make sure we thread is where we want it to be, start. We come over, tie this down, just like we did before. And we're just going to check my wing, see it's sitting okay. Check things are fine. Looks okay. Now for the legs, I'm going to use some dyed black deer here. It's just normal black, dyed black deer here I bought from the, ta uh, the tackle shop. So we take enough that it would enough off that it would form a wing of a, I'd say a muddler or something like that, or a, a elk hair caddis, something like that. Now put the tips in first to a stacker, tap on my desk, make sure they're lined up. Raise them from the stacker. Just make sure there are no broken ends there. Leg length. You're looking probably around about the gape. So if I held that down to the length of the gape, so I tie that on the top like a wing at this point. So I trim away the excess. Make sure you've got wax on your thread, you need plenty of grip. Come in and we catch these in like that and then we just work the thread through it nice and tight see where we are that's fine so basically it's lying on top of the foam so we get our, back to the black glister now leave yourself a headroom space here to tie in the foam so I'm just going to work from the bottom up so that when I just need up my dubbing when I take the, the dubbing up and I'm bringing the thread back through that it really tightens it up. There's the space. Now, just going to make sure there's wax on my thread. Okay, now I'm going to bring over the foam. You see how it spreads the deer hair fibres. Now you want them to spread out. Just use the foam back and forward and draw it back with your fingers. You will catch the odd one, so don't worry. Draw it back and then I'm going to stretch the foam to reduce the thorax size because it is smaller than the, the body and it gives you one that profile, the shape, that's what the fish see. And then what we do, see I've caught one fibre but don't worry, you can always pull it back with the thread, a few turns in there, or in this case, trim that away. I'm just going to Put a wee bit of varnish onto my thread and put finish. One, two, three, four. Trim the thread away. I'm going to trim the foam straight across, but straight across the. But just keep it uh, maybe a mill or so. Just gives that impression of the, the head of the ant. Just going to reduce a wee bit. Cutting the sides of it so that it can encourage that shape. See the legs are spread out, so I'm just encouraging that, and then I'm just going to give them a wee kind of squeeze, and that gives them a more leggy light look. And there's your profile, just see how things are sitting. There you are, that's the black foam ant. With the, it's just a style, there's many out there, it's just a nice wee ant pattern. Uh, one you can tie, you can tie it in whatever hook you like, whatever size. Whether you want to tie it as you get orange ants as much as you get red ants and so on, brown. So you can do the same pattern, just change the materials to suit the colours. Uh, the deer hair works, it spreads, that's like a parachute. It spreads the weight of the ant. It's never going to sit high like a normal dry fly, it's going to sit sub and that's where they normally sit with the terrestrials if the, if the ants get blown on. So anyway, it's a, it's a nice wee fly, it's a nice pattern, easy to tie. And you can fill your box quite quick. So if you enjoyed the video, as, you, as I always say, I started saying, please subscribe. Uh, it does help and I hope you enjoyed that.